फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट गिफर्ड सुपरा एक्यूरेटली एक्सप्लेन्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रीजन्स टू बिलीव एंड सस्पिशन सस्पिशन रिक्वायर्स लोअर डिग्री ऑफ सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड डज नॉट अमाउंट टू बिलीव बिलीव इज बियॉन्ड स्पेक्यूलेशन और डाउट एंड द थ्रेश होल्ड ऑफ बिलीव कन्वेज कन्विक्शन फाउंडेड ऑन एविडेंस रिगार्डिंग एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अ फैक्ट और डूइंग ऑफ एन एक्ट given that the power of arrest is drastic and violates article 21 of the constitution we must give meaningful true and full play to the legislative intent providing the written grounds of arrest though a must does not in itself satisfy the compliance requirement the authorized officers genuine belief and reasoning based on the evidence that establishes the arrestee's guilt is also the legal necessity as the reasons to believe are accorded by the authorized officer the onus to establish satisfaction of the said condition will be on the doe and not on the arrestee on the necessity to satisfy the preconditions mentioned in section 191 of the pml act we have quoted from the judgment of this court in padam narayan agarwal supra and also referred to and quoted from the canadian judgment in gifford supra existence and validity of the reasons to believe goes to the root of the power to arrest the subjective opinion of the arresting officer must be founded and based upon fair and objective consideration of the material as available with them on the date of arrest on the reading of the reasons to believe the court must form the secondary opinion on the validity of the exercise undertaken for compliance of section 191 of the pml act when the arrest was made the reasons to believe that the person is guilty of an offence under the pml act should be founded on the material in the form of documents and oral statements referring to the legal position this court in dr pratap singh and another versus director of enforcement foreign exchange regulation act and others has observed when an officer of the enforcement department purposes to act under section 37 undoubtedly he must have reason to believe that the documents useful for investigation or proceeding under the act are secreted the material on which the belief is grounded may be secret may be obtained through intelligence or occasionally may be conveyed orally by informants it is not obligatory upon the officer to disclose his material on the mere allegation that there was no material before him on which his reason to believe can be grounded the expression reason to believe is to be found in various statutes we may take note of one such section 34 of income tax act 1922 inter alia provides that the income tax officer must have reason to believe that the incomes profits or gains chargeable to income tax have been under assessed then alone he can take action under section 34 in s narayanappa versus cit the assessee challenged the action taken under section 34 and amongst others it was contended on his behalf that the reasons which induced the income tax officer to initiate proceedings under section 34 were justiciable and therefore these reasons should have been communicated by the income tax officer to the assessee before the assessment can be reopened it was also submitted that the reasons must be sufficient for a prudent man to come to the conclusion that the income escaped assessment and that the court can examine the sufficiency or adequacy of the reasons on which the income tax officer has acted 
negativing all the limbs of the contention this court held that stop